this is something that's crossed my mind for a while now. Like, looking back on my life, I, I can't even attempt to count how many times I've tried to avoid stepping outside of my comfort zone, trying something outside of my little box without some sort of pullback, you feel me? And it's crazy how I'm talking about this because I'm only 19. By society standards, I'm still a kid, bro. I'm still a young buck to the game. Nah, to some degree, that may be true. But still though, my 19 years of life, in my humble opinion, can be compared to that of a middle-aged man with 13 years of debt attached to his name. Just got fired from his job, which he worked at for 38 years, and, oh my, his wife is cheating on him. Houston, we have his a problem. His best friend's mother's he needs boyfriend. Listen, what I'm trying to say is, I've been through a little something something with him. Which brings me to basically the reason you clicked on the video. Thank you for that by the way. This story is about how I got fired from my first job, Target. But before we can talk about the end, we must first talk about the beginning. Now off rip, I gotta clear a few things up. This is not gonna be that typical animation bullshit you see on YouTube about oh fuck them, they fired me or my boss was a dick or my favorite. Let me tell you about my co-workers. Like, oh my god. <laughs> this is not gonna be that cheap. Ah, uh, listen, it's also gonna be broken up into two parts. Uh, listen, it, it, it's deep. And let's just see, we do quality and somewhat quantity over here. I just ain't, uh, roll the intro. Now to start the story off right, I gotta take you back in time. About the end of summer, beginning fall, three years ago. I was about 17 years old. I'm about to be a senior in high school and was bald, deep, boy, deep, in a one year committed relationship. Which is a fucking story within itself. Comment down below if you wanna know that, okay? And was just seriously getting into fitness. There were two things I was missing. One, a job and two a 4.0 to 3.0 at least gpa to be considered a role model student <laughs> obviously i wasn't able to get both uh, course of action look for a job let's begin for about a month into the summer i've been spending my time scrolling through the internet applying to countless places i'm talking gas station retail stores gyms strip clubs i was a man on a mission now all of the other time was spent either working with my dad doing general maintenance or lawn service with my little brother and texting my girl about how much i love her and how why she's not cheating on me in new york but uh, that's not something i want to put on the internet uh, first roadblock Turns out jobs don't hire you because you're young and eager to sink in hours of your life willingly for a check. Who knew? Looks like that's the end for me. Like, uh, need to acquire higher level to enter or sweet. Don't pass go, bitch. I felt defeated, hopeless, lost. So in frustration, I went to my dad to talk to him about my failed mission you can say so it went something like this hey daddy i got a little problem oh boy i knew this day was coming listen son women come and women go it's all about wait 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 what no 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 it's not that it's not that me and Shar is good oh 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 uh, what's going on you see i'm having a little trouble looking for a job a what you know a job a real job where you work for with people this kid's crazy is he serious no he can't he he, he can't be <laughs> in one moment he's gonna laugh and prove me right any moment now oh fuck he's serious pause real quick you might be asking why my dad might be thinking like this right again my dad was a self-employed man and his sons me and my brother were not legally owners of their own lawn service business remember that what i said earlier yeah like so for his son to come to him and say he's looking for a job to go work for someone as an employee was equivalent to me coming to him saying hey dad uh just want you to know i smoked like four packs of cigarette a day and i'm the kingpin of a major drug operation during the summertime and to top it all off i bought a few only fan account with your debit card now i'm willing to 
uh, a little something something for none too serious. You know, just a one year ass whooping pass. Houston, we have a hey, problem. Hey, it, it's just one year, that's all I want. That's a good deal. It's a good deal. Hey, think about it. Hey, 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 hey. Think about it. The point I'm trying to make is I was speaking irrational to him. So he was probably thinking something like Nigga, what? What? Why? You miss and hire a few people and you damn near your own boss. But instead, my father took the deep breath. He looked at me in silence, mostly silence, <laughs> and calmly said, All right, did you do this, this, and this? And I quickly answered, Yup, yup, and yup. Then my dad sat in silence again and was like, Damn, nigga, that's tough. I'm playing, I'm playing. He did not say that. Okay, that I love you. Okay, calm down. He basically was like, okay, I'll see what I can do, okay? So, yup, bam, there, there it is again. Dream's over because I know he's not gonna look anytime soon. So, I head to my room again, felt defeated, hopeless, lost. But this time, the air was thin, like, I, I couldn't breathe. The walls were getting closer. I was slowly sinking into the abyss, slowly approaching the crater. Hey, Kendrick. Oh, what's good, Porsche? So, I just heard you looking for a job. That's true? Yeah, I... I was. Do you want to wear your target? Hmm? Wait, wait, wait. I, I mean, I do, but I already applied, and that was like weeks ago. I, um, um I, I didn't ask you that. I asked you, did you want to work there? So, now I'm confused. I say, uh, yeah, but I just told you. I, I just told you. I already... Um, that's all I need to know. Listen, just be ready to answer your phone tomorrow when I call you, okay? And yes, you might be wondering, she works at Target. So fast forward to the next day, and I'm pacing the house. Oh shit, any minute now, bro, your boy need a fucking job. Bro, I kid you not, my phone was solid 100%, bro. That's the first time in my life my phone was at a full charge for the entire day. So I'm waiting, right? And suddenly... The phone rings. Who is it you ask? Turns out it was my girl. Listen, I felt gotcha, betrayed. For a brief second, I was unhappy to hear from her. For a brief second. Like, like I felt like my phone was like catfishing me. So I quickly explained to her like what's going on and how she can't call me because I can't call her and because I'm waiting on a phone call. So I was like, hey, listen, I'm gonna call you, okay? And at first she was a little, a little surprised. She was like, what the fuck? Um okay and but she ultimately agreed you know so it was like whatever so i went back to waiting right and around 12 o'clock that day in the afternoon it happened she called hello hello can you hear me can you oh, wait wait hold on let me let me take these headphones off oh, can you hear me now hey kendrick we can hear you wait we yep i'm here with hr and he got a few questions for you first thought that came to my head was who the fuck is HR? So I answered, Okay, um, I'm ready. So a dude comes on the call and asks, Are you available for a job interview? Um, next week, Tuesday, maybe? So then I stopped and I thought about it. I thought about my schedule. I thought about the things I could have been doing. The, the amount of videos on those sites I shall not name. I could have been watching. The amount of views I could have racked up. Am I ready? So then I stopped and quickly said, yes, nigga. Bro, I'm there. All I need is the time and date and I am there, bro. I am there. So we agreed on it and he quickly explained what all I need for the interview. And he gave the phone back to my dad's girl. So she said, okay, so, yep, you were all that down? And I'm like, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. And then she quickly explained she had to go back to work. I quickly said, thank you. And we end the call. That is a real Fucking MVP, bro. She came in clutch, bro. Clutch. Definitely give her a big shout out for that. Miss Portia, the real OG of my life in 27 fucking team. So yeah, next week, got everything I needed for the interview. Smoothly laid down my charm. And bam, hired. First real job acquired. I walked back to the car, which my dad was waiting on me. And all I could have think about on the ride home was... Oh shit, I got a job.